everyone, this is Seema Jalgar, your social science teacher and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will learn that air occupies space and exerts pressure. Alright, so I will start with a simple experiment. Now, this is a balloon. So, I am going to blow this balloon. Will I be successful? Let's see. Okay, that was easy, isn't it? Now, I'll try to blow a balloon inside this bottle. I could not blow any air into the balloon. No, I was not faking it. So, why was I unable to blow the balloon? The answer is that there is air present in this bottle already. So there is no space for the balloon to expand because the air is already present in the bottle. All right. Now I'll just show you something else. Now, let's try blowing this balloon again. I was successful. What made the difference? The difference is that there is a gaping hole in this bottle which leads for the air to escape. So when I push this balloon, when I blow air into this balloon, the balloon is pushing the air that is already present in the bottle outside the bottle. So that makes it easier for me to blow the balloon inside the bottle. Now let's do something. So let's do one more experiment. Now you can see there's a straw which is inserted into a bottle and the bottle is half filled with water. There's no water coming out of the straw. But now let us do a little bit of change to this bottle and let's see what happens. Now take in a balloon filled with air. So I'll just wrap it around the mouth of the bottle. And then we'll slowly release the air. Can you see the water coming out? Yes. So that means that the air that was inside the balloon has exerted pressure onto the water that was already inside. And that is why you could see the water spouting out of the straw. Right? So we have proved that air exerts pressure. I hope you have understood about atmosphere and atmospheric pressure. So until next time, please take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.